Okay, this is something I'm working on, and uh, I'm going to call it uh, Nona Pia's uh, Italian potato salad, but modified, of course. Um, I'm going to call it uh, crudo. I'm going to add crudo to it. It's pretty much exactly as she makes it, but the uh, oregano is fresh out of the garden, chopped finely which is good, and uh, these are the, the uh, purple bottle onions in this case, although the, fine, the, 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 the standard purple onions will be, are fantastic as well. But this is getting better and better. I've been making this all week. Today's Friday, and I think this is ready to serve to guests. Okay, okay, this is bacon. Um, I had, I went up to the butcher today and got some, well, pancetta, they call it here, bacon. I asked her if she could slice it very thin. No problem. No problem. Now, bacon here is different. Pancetta. Let me go up to the butcher. This is some I keep in the fridge. I cut a little bit off the end of this, you know, for some other dishes. But, uh... That's what the bacon looks like here. Um, and uh, what I, that's the nice thing about having a butcher. You know, and there are different ways you can cook bacon also, and depending on what you're doing. Now I'm making a potato salad. It's in the refrigerator. It's been cooking since lunchtime. And I cooked this bacon in just a little bit of uh, sunflower oil. Right, just enough to get things, you know, to make healthy heat transfer. And I want to get this crispy, crispy enough to break up into little chunks for my potato salad. But right, not overdone, and it looks like things are getting there pretty well. This other side is not going to take very long at all. Okay. In fact, my oil's starting to smoke. I'm turning my fire off because this will finish up real nicely here. Just sitting this this hot oil a little bit, which is now oh half sunflower, half bacon fat. And this one here was out on the end. We're gonna put it in the middle here, give it equal. Try to equalize the heat a little bit, and uh, it's gonna come out. I don't know if I'm going to take the fat off it or not. See, it has uh, reduced in length by about half. And so, uh, yeah, looking forward to this on the potato salad. Okay, so these, this is all the pancetta I'm putting in this amount of potato salad. And it's sliced very thinly. So this is just for a little bit of taste. Okay? It's a seasoning, it's not a... The nutritional component of the, uh, you know, the potato salad. And, okay, so it's very difficult to slice here with one hand. So I hope uh, this comes out okay. And I'm going to have to just stop, pause here for a second while I put this bacon, pancetta, very thinly sliced, um, thin meaning uh, maybe two millimeters, pretty thin, into the potato salad. And I realize I, I skipped a few steps here about boiling the potatoes, how long you have to boil them, until you can stick a fork in them, okay. You know, then the fork goes in, it doesn't have to, like, go in without any effort whatsoever, but... It has to go into them. And uh, it's important then to uh, mix all these things up, put them in the refrigerator to let everything cool. Okay, so I've put the bacon in here. I'm just gonna toss it around a little bit. And uh, then take it up on the hill in some little plastic cups. And um, I'm gonna give it to my butcher a little bit to try, but uh, more to my uh, 
advisors, my cooking advisors here to see if they like it because they're going to be here for July dinner on July 4th. 